Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to add celery to our project. Maybe you're wondering why do we need celery? And first we need to understand and what celery do for you. And if you take a look like here in the the documentation, uh, you can read that celery is a tax cured with batteries included. It is easy to use that you can get stirred, blah, 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 whatever. So basically like what you can do is create like tasks and if you um, if you search on the on like Wikipedia about celery um, you can see that um, it's being used by uh, like Instagram right for instance, Instagram to process millions of tags every day. Basically, like you can um, program a task, and it will basically like run in the background with uh, with a worker, and um, it's basically they use like brokers, message brokers, and. There are like many message brokers like Reddit and Rabbit MQ, also Amazon and, and um, Linode, I think. They have like a broker that you can use too. Um, but, but yeah, you need a broker that's basically one of the because it use a message like message broker to basically work um but yeah but what we're going to use it we're going to use it to um basically um execute like the tasks for um the stories we want to check the time for the stories and like mark is mark them as a like spire because remember um it's supposed to be there for like 24 hours um the the stories are supposed to be for 20, 24 hours or whatever you want to put it there um and so after 24 hours we want to mark them like at expire and then after expire we want to mark them like we want to delete them which is basically like what instagram does um and who knows probably they use um celery to process the like that task right um but yeah this is this is like many people use it and it's very powerful and you can as you can see here like how to like how to use celery with django and yeah let's let's get started the first thing that we need to do, we need to um, install Celery, of course. I'm going to use the um, the 5.0. That's one kind of like the one of the latest versions, right? The latest version. Um, you can just run like pip pip install. Um, salary 5.0 right um, I have a typo here salary 5.0 5.0 okay um i have the package already some of the requirements installed so might look different to you okay let's see now we can install um pip install django celery bit let's install the 2.0 version oh, and 
we're going to use this one like jungle celery bit to um to basically like create tags with our database and like um that's what it do for you 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 choose a task and you can like change the time and everything and, and all that kind of stuff that's why we're going to use that one and here you can see oh yes or i make a chess or you can this is another one it's strange this is an inspection that you can use jungle 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 survey results um which provides like backends like results and, and yeah you can you can add that one and this one as you can see this is the one that we're using too um but yeah okay we installed um django and celery and very important we need to install our broker our message broker you can install like redis and if you go here to the like the documentation like first like getting started and like first step with celery um you can choose a you can choose a broker rabbit mq redis and like others um i'm going to use Ra uh, rabbit because this is the first recommendation they gave you and also it's stable durable easy to install whatever so you just need to run this command um uh, check i i got it already so um so you just need to run this command like under um in this server just just run this command and then you'll be able to you see it's like it's already installed like la 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 you don't need it whatever so after after you install like the rabbit and all of the stuff of course make sure that you are that your environment is activated when you install like celery that stuff so um so let's run this command to check if rabbit mq server it's running so start sudo system ctl um start status rabbit mq server and it should show something like that like active and running and if you are um if you are working on windows um to install like rabbit mq it's way easier you just download like a execute and you just install but um but for the celery version um i read in some like posts and like also like start overflow that celery doesn't work properly on windows after the version like 3.0 so if you're using um if you're running on Windows, make sure that you're using a version under 3.0. Um, I don't think that it's like like as much changes that you can like that will you encounter. I think, but but yeah, just just on Windows, make sure that you're running 3.0. And also for general salary uh, version, you will, I think you'll have to use. Uh, less than 2.0 like 1.5 or something but yeah um so we make sure the the server is running if not you can just um tap like sudo system ctl start and then grab it mq server All right you can also like check the command line here to basically like see what are the like um what are the like comments for that like star stop and all that stuff um or restart but yeah mine's running and yeah okay let's jump to the uh what is, let's 
close that out. So, um, yeah, let's go to here, Django. Okay, the documentation, let's go to, just go to Django and like first step with Django. So when you're here, it tells you like the, the things that you need to do to get started. You have to like basically create these files and like add all of this code. Um, but yeah, it's just follow the instructions. Let me just do it. Um, uh, to first define an app, calling app. Okay, we have an app. So we need to go um, um, here in our init. Let's close all of this. Okay. Um, so yeah, as it tells you, you need, so we're working here, um, and you basically have to just copy this code and like paste it in the, in the init and module. So let's go here to the app, let's type, let's go to init here. Remember it's under, when you open the project, the main the main project like here as where you have like the settings and like the main URLs. So you go in it and then you just basically copy this and then I paste it here and then you save that. And now um, as it tells you, you need to create a mod like a, like a, a module here for the setter instance. So you go click, right click here let me see, yes, it's under the project name. So you click here, new file, and then you type, uh, let's save it as celery.py. Okay, now you just copy all of this. Just copy, and then I paste it, and then you just save, right? So, um, yeah, just save. And now let's go to settings. So on settings, let's go to the bottom, uh, to the bottom. And here we need to set the, basically like the broker URL. So in the broker URL, as you can see here in our status, um, you can see the port. Let me see where. Uh, let me see. Let's see, let me see. Fix. Let me see. Check. Um, that's interesting. Um, anyway, it's, I mean, they, it's for the, our, um, rabbit MQ server. Um, it's always, so let's type, let's create. A celery um, broker URL, all capitalized. Remember, because on the celery um, pro the celery, like take it from here. So uh, it should match. So remember, capitalize. So we type AMQ. Oops, AMQP, right? And then local host. And then the port that's fifty six seventy two. That's the port for the for the broker. And in this case, Rabbit MQ. Um, okay, let's save that. Okay. Um, 
So, yeah, so we set up, um, oh, we need to, oh, we forgot, we need to add, um, so now here, we need to add a jungle, like, celery bit that we just installed, remember? So let's go to the bottom here. Um, let me see. Should we? Let me see. Oh no, this is the documentation. So, so it's highly recommended that your um and as you can see here about the time zone so it's strongly recommended that your um the time zone for um for your um for for your server and the um basically the the broker server like they match so yeah just keep that in mind and this is a quick example like how to run the the task but yeah um so after you install the the jungle salary bit let's let's add it to the to our project so basic jungle salary bit save that Safe. Um, and now let's. Oops. Let's run the migrations. Python manage the pike, make migrations. And then migrate. And as you can see, the models for salary bit. Okay, so we got the. Now let's run the server. Server. Um, so now we got the we got the models, and if you go to the um, let's go here. If you go to the admin side, you you have you will see like this like periodic task. Because this is for the periodic task, because we want um, in our case um, the idea is that we run the like the task for like checking the um, checking the the expiration day. Like I, I will run it for like one minute, like every like each minute. I mean, of course, you can set your own time, but this is the main idea so yeah there are like this is like chrome tabs and periodic tasks that's why we use like that's why we use um django salary bit um but yeah so we got the salary bit we got the servers running